we go from CMS. Nice break there for Gray. He used that bottom line to get a nice push from Majeski. And look on the top. Here comes Roger Carruth to the back of Corey Heim. And look there's Purdy. <laughs> there, oh, off the road. 77 made an aggressive move, some contact, and he's lost a ton of momentum. These are the drivers coming from the back. Tyler Ankrum had to spin in practice. We've covered this, or in qualifying, rather. We've talked about the situation for Christian Eckes. And as those two teammates drive from the back, it's teammates racing for the lead. The 11 is Corey Heim trying to get on point. Here he goes inside of the 15 of Tanner Gray. Yeah, the 15 got in the corner really hard, but lost his momentum through the center of the corner. That's going to allow Corey Heim to grab this lead. These two have driven away pretty nicely from third place running Ty Majeski. Got a nice gap there. There is a good view out of the back of Danny's truck. You know, one thing you see on that rear spoiler of the trip, remember, this is the first race of the Triple Truck Challenge. $50,000 bonus to the winner of this race. Dye's making another move around. Stephen Parsons to the bottom. This truck is fast. Plus 13 already, Mike, wow. for Daniel Dye. Stuart Friesen there in that blue truck in the inside behind Bailey Curry. There's Ben Rhodes, who won this race a year ago. Looking to get his season on track, as we've talked about. Battle for the 10th position. Bailey Curry going to try to grab that spot back from Ben Rhodes. Here comes Dean Thompson. Dean's fresh off our Knucker Series attempt, finishing the top 10. Bailey Curry getting oh. loose. Hang on to her, Bailey. And how, how about Ben Rhodes realizing that Bailey Curry was loose and gave him the room he needed to keep that from being an accident? That was just a smart heads up veteran move, champion move. That's how you win championships. You got to be situationally aware of what's going on. And you have to film some things. You can't even see them, Phil. <laughs> Had an opportunity maybe to try something to see if it worked. Didn't lose any ground. I love that, man. You got to see what's out there. Make these, oh, that's a big Ooh. squeeze there. Dean Thompson ran Jack Wood up the hill, and that's going to cost Jack a lot of momentum and a lot of spots. Yeah, Jack got sideways. He's going to lose all his momentum, going to lose about three more spots. I just love the versatility of the 45. He goes up high if he needs to, and he's able to run right on the bottom as well. Three to go, stage one. Corey Heim has led 24 laps, led 49 laps in this race a year ago, finished second overall, one stage one, was second in stage two. So Heim knows his way around Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's more than a four-second advantage for Corey Heim. Honeycutt a second, Tanner Gray from the pole to third, Raja Carruth in the fourth position. Final truck inside the top five is Ty Majeski. He won last week at North Wilkesboro, and he's picked up where he left off. He's going to get his fifth stage win of the year. And for the second straight season, he wins stage one at Charlotte. Corey Heim delivers in this first 30-lap run of the night. Honeycutt second. Gray, Carruth, Majeski getting points in the top five. Lane Riggs was sixth. Chase Purdy seventh. Dean Thompson, Ben Rhodes, Connor Mozak, the rest of the top ten in this first stage of the night. Christian Eckes, extended stop. We talked about their problems. He restarts in the 28th position. Timmy Hill got the free pass, so he's back on the lead lap. And that tire that got away was the 67 of Jeffrey Earnhardt. Front row for the restart, just like the start of the race. Teammates Tanner Gray, Corey Heim. Ready to go. Stage two at Charlotte. Man, a lot of pushing already, guys, into one. Whoa. Honeycutt looking high in the 45. It's going to open up the middle for Majeski in the 98. Yeah, Honeycutt was in a tough spot. He was pushing the 11 so good that his nose was way in the air and just forced him up the top of three. Connor Mozak getting racy in the seven. Lane Riggs hanging tough inside the top ten. There he is in that 38. Dean Thompson wants to sniff at that outside. Honeycutt shuts the door on him. There's that seven of Mozak you're talking about. Adam, strong run early. 
You get such a run down the back straight away, but with that run, it, you pay a price. You're going faster through the bumps, so you have to really keep an eye on your car. As you see, Dean, he'll miss the bottom here, and the seven might have a run back here on him. Two drivers here doing double duty. Randy Arcarace talking about Thompson, Taylor Gray, actually a Bozak rather. Ten laps led tonight for Tanner Gray, but he's had a hard time keeping his teammate behind him. Just like in stage one, Heim bides his time and then pounces. Here he is for the lead. Tanner putting up a good fight, though. Uh, you know, trying to stay on that right rear quarter panel, just to at least try to keep him at bay. But we still got a lot of racing to go. He's got a lot of time to get his way on through the field. Really fast truck. His lap times right now are top five times. Daniel die. Wow, that was a nice dive into turn three, and he was able to hold the bottom. That's the most impressive thing about that move. He entered low, but he was able to keep low and keep that nose right on the white line. That's going to get him up to it. I think Grant's going to possibly get blocked in by that lap truck. Now, no, only it's for 15th, right? But it's important because when you come down pit road, that's one spot. That's a, that's a car length you're going to gain when you come to pit road here in a lap. Get out the broom. It's a sweep for Corey Heim. He wins stage one. He wins stage two. He's led 49 of 60 laps tonight. Tanner Gray was second. Chase Purdy solid in third. Honeycutt fourth. Dean Thompson stays in the top five. Points for Majeski, Riggs, Mozak, Sanchez, and Daniel Dye. 30 trucks on the lead lap. We're ready for the final stage. Heim, Tanner Gray on the front row, the 11 in control. Good restart from both lanes right here. Just remember that intensity picks up with every lap that goes by. These restarts, this one, the next one, <laughs> they're just going to get crazier and crazier as you see Corey Heim moving up the hill and grabbing that lead off turn two. Hello, Connor Mozak in the seven. Mozak did a really good job there. His nose was so high pushing the 11, but 15 with a run here. Tough spot to do that. Be aggressive knowing that's a teammate, but gets off of four really well. Oh, got Tyler Ankrum in the wall. Thad Moffat in the 46. Wow, that's a big impact there. Keith McGee involved. Looks like Jeffrey Earnhardt. Yeah, there's the Earnhardt truck. Good restart from Tanner Gray to stay up next to him, but Connor Mozak had a shot here. Let's see if he can't do the same thing here again. Dean Thompson peeking to the top there, trying to take him three wide. Look at the squeeze play up there. Ben Rhodes up the middle, right in the center of the screen. Couple of Fords side by side. Rhodes with Lane Riggs. Look at that push from Rhodes. Four wide right there, <laughs> almost. Well, wait a minute, he doesn't have anywhere else to go. He's right on the bumper of Majeski, but a nice push on Chase Purdy by Ben Rhodes. Daniel did a really good job sticking to the bottom there. Maybe get one or two as you see Kane Honeycutt just in the background of your screen, already making moves up forward. And Daniel doing a really good job just hitting the bottom here, putting together good laps. And right there, Lane got tight and he's able to get the left rear. He might have a shot here to clear him into three and four for how good he's been on the bottom. Yeah, Lane had to pedal that throttle, lost his momentum. Let's see if Daniel can clear him. Not quite able to clear him. Now he does. Now he, oh, and gets loose, That's chases it, catches it. Lane in the outside wall, possibly. That's been Daniel's strong suit oh. today. We got a crash. There's that right front fender rub. Oh. Man, that might, that's probably a right front, don't you think, Michael? Caution number four. Chase Purdy in control, 47 laps remaining at Charlotte. Chase Purdy's needing Stephen Parsons in that 75 to give him the push. Stewart freezing out of line. Stephen said, I'll give you a push till I try to pass you. And look who's right there, pouncing, Christian Eckes. He's on those tires, and here he comes. 19 driving by Chase Purdy. Put Christian Eckes into the lead. Can he hang on? From last to first. <laughs> I love the military salutes. And oh, look at Corey Heim go. Whoa. Heim is electric. Outside of the 0-2 of Massey. Gets Mozak. And a little hello to Ty Dillon. I mean, this is like three or four trucks in one lap. Down the back straight away. Now into the 11th spot. Just outside the top 10 for Corey Heim. And next time he comes around here, he'll be in the top 10. He might even be seven. <laughs> And the 45 is racing the 75. You see right here on the front straightaway. 
Battle for the lead, Chase Purdy. You got to report the 19 saving fuel. Chase Purdy trying to take advantage. Crossover move. Here comes Eckes back by. That's not how you save fuel. I was going to say that, that's, that's not saving fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe he was going to let him go. <laughs> Well, I think I think he knows that that uh, 11 truck is coming. Look at this crossover. Wow, <laughs> these guys are going at it. With just 26 laps to go. But them racing for the lead plays into the hands of Honeycutt and Heim who are driving back Whoa. up through there and trimming that deficit. Yeah, Heim a half a second faster than these two guys battling for the lead that last lap. You saw it while we were side by side. Chase Purdy in the 77 got into the wall. Perhaps some debris there, and that produces our fifth caution of the night. He was running this high line, and he was really making good ground, but just got in a little bit too hot right there. Yeah. Bill and I were screaming as this happened, "Come get your <laughs> tires and gas right now!" You know you're going to have to pit anyway, but that's too much damage. And then, bam, blows that right front tire, and into the wall he goes. I don't know if this is good news or bad news for Christian Eckes because you get the yellow that allows you to save a little fuel. But now you're going to be restarting up front with some of the best. We know how strong the 45 has been tonight. Caden Honeycutt and Corey Heim is right back in the mix. He was three and a half seconds back was going to have a hard time getting there. It appeared if we stayed green. Dean Thompson the first truck the five truck on new tires. Nine laps to go. Whoa. Nice save by Stefan. They were like four wide at one point once they got past the start finish line. Dean Thompson slides up on those tires. About Corey Heim already up to about the sixth spot. Nick Sanchez going for second. Inside of Raja Karuth. There's the 11. Heim racing Parsons going to get his teammate Dean Thompson. Whoa. Looking inside here, a little two for one, maybe for Heim. The race for the lead is on. Here comes Sanchez inside of Eckes. Two on point with eight to go. And here comes Stuart Friesen on his new tires. He's going to do away with Eckes. Eckes going in the wrong direction. Friesen is by. Corey Heim driving by. There'll be seven laps to go next time around. Great job by Matt. Wow. I and a great job by Sanchez. I said it before, but this is amazing. He knew what was coming, but he's able to stand up and hit the gas and keep him behind him so far. Eck is now going to in danger of falling out of the top 10. That's a battle for the ninth spot with Mozak right there. Mozak has brought his A game tonight. White flag going to go in the air this time. One more time around for Nick Sanchez. A four tenths of a second advantage over Corey Heim. Heim decides to try to run the fence, get some momentum off turn two. Had to try something. Stuart Friesen looking on from third spot. Started the season with a win at Daytona. Tonight, it's career win number two. Nick Sanchez is the man at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Never count that. Never count that Bono's team out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.